Hi, welcome. This is Sheila again. It's my day nine of 45 for this cleanse, and I'm really excited to be sharing with you again. Um, welcome to my cousin's room. I'm back in my hometown of New Jersey where I was born, visiting family with my aunt and my grandpa, who just turned 92 years old yesterday. So I wanted to get in a quick video um, while so much has been happening for me. There's a lot that I want to share. And please forgive me because we're about to have a celebration and there's a lot of people over. And so if you hear laughter, or dogs barking, or people in the background, I apologize. All right, so if you're considering this cleanse, please know for this journey, I've been reminded that day three can be a doozy. Every single cleanse I've ever done, I tend to forget every single time, and then I'm reminded day three is intense. Okay, I touched on that a little bit in the previous video, but this is another gentle reminder. And then there's waves that come for days four and five. And on my day four of this cleanse, <laughs> right at the end of the night, I experienced a full-on emotional outburst. And let me preface this by reminding us that there is a body, mind, spirit connection. Most people, even mainstream, everywhere can agree that we have a mind, body, spirit connection. So we look at this and my philosophy that I have, I'll share with you, is that everything that's going on internally is thus also manifested externally. <laughs> So my body is being introduced to this new chemical and I'm starting to have a die-off experience and sure enough, day four, during the night, emotional outburst pretty much out of nowhere and full on fiery, intense, God bless you, my beloved, I love you for holding the reflection for me to transform through the waves that I go through. Okay, so there are waves. And the great thing that I'm enjoying about this particular cleanse is that I'm doing it with a group of people. Because then, after walking through the fire and going through my own process and returning to love and forgiving myself and forgiving the situation, which I'm able to do faster and faster, um, Days later, I talked to one of my friends doing the cleanse, Patty, and we're bouncing back and forth what we're doing. And sure enough, it just so happened, almost every single person doing the cleanse on the night of the fourth day and teetering into the fifth morning, we're having these like exponential full-on clearings emotionally. So remember that when you decide to do your cleanse, if you decide to do this cleanse, there is a lot of stuff that comes up. And I support you. It is an amazing journey. The part that I've been enjoying the most, I would say, is the deepening awareness of how when I feel like I have an overgrowth of candida, that I become more and more emotionally unstable, right? Because we go through life and we're always going to have changes and we might have triggers and stuff comes up. But what I've experienced in these nine days is that with clarity, when I'm feeling more clear, the emotional trigger isn't as intense and I don't go into the fire as much. But when I feel like I have an overgrowth, um, and I'm also saying this because I can reflect on what my life has been like over, say, the past 10 years. 
with the overgrowth of the candida, it's almost as if, you know, it's in your bloodstream. And so it's in your brain. Your brain is a huge amount of blood going through it and your heart. So imagine trying to have a heart and mind connection that's clear when you are invaded by fungus or candida. It, it's not an easy thing to do. So if you're experiencing intensities of emotional outbursts, but you're really working on yourself, um, maybe you have candida overgrowth and it's something to look at. You know, I know that for a couple of these days, I have felt really clear and I love that feeling. And that's why I'm doing this candida cleanse because I'm committed to having the most healthy body that I can so that I can have the most healthy relationships in my life that I can. And I know it's always a process and this is my process. So I'm sharing it with you and I hope something that I've said inspires you to just help you along your path, whether you choose to do this cleanse or not. All right, that's my share, day nine. I look forward to sharing more, and I wish you a beautiful evening wherever you are. All right, bye-bye.